This is the bike I rode around Mongolia for the latest documentary, which is available to watch now on GCM+. It survived ice gorges, the largest sand dune system in Asia, and the beautiful Gobi Desert. But will it survive Hank? He's put me off the track. Today, I'm putting the fat bike up against the monster bike, the 36 inch wheeled mammoth. Which one's gonna come out on top? Let's go find Hank. <laughs> Here he is. Oh yeah. <laughs> you're looking good, you ready? Fatty Mouth versus monster. Good. Are you oh, ready for a challenge? I'm ready for a challenge, although you're on the wrong bike. You need to look after this. Really? Yeah, I think it's a bit big for you this one. Fair, I barely yeah. fit on that. Right. That, that survived the Gobi, I hope it survives you. Let's go. Let's do it, the challenge Fatty. is on. Versus Monster! Head to head! Oh gosh, I forgot how big this thing is. <laughs> right then, challenge number one. A max speed test. Yeah, it's the high speed test. How fast can these two bikes go? We it's picked, about time we find out, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we've picked a bit of a ski run of a road. There's only one direction of traffic, you're safe. So we're just gonna head down, it's pretty steep. You get speed up here, and then we're gonna peel off and we're just gonna see what the max speed is yep. through the run. Now, in Mongolia, this thing went pretty fast down some sand dunes, so I'm gonna be interested to see how it compares to El Alto because I've descended El Alto, the 36 inch wheel bike in Wales, down some mountain climbs, and it's, it's an experience to El say Alto the least. El Alto should be fast though. I think it should, I think it should roll fast yeah. on the fat bike on this one. But whether or not we're gonna hit the 50 mile an hour speed limit, is another thing. Right, do you want to go first or rock, paper, scissors? I'll go, I'll go first. Keep it safe. Right, let's go. Let's do it. Good luck. Right. Don't hurt yourself. Uh, look after El Alto. I will. I always do. She looks right. after me. Good luck, Connor. Oh, here we go. Stay safe. Treat me well, please. All I've got to do is roll downhill, which is um, something I'm usually pretty good at. Right then. Wish me luck. Lights are on. Let's do it. Here we go. I forgot how fast that little section is. Just a bit of a solid little downhill. Managed to get to 64 per an hour. Quite felt pretty sturdy. That was terminal velocity though, so interesting to see how the fat bike compares to that. Wonder how Hank's getting on. Right, it's about time I get a show on the road. It's my max speed test on the fat bike. Here goes nothing. Right, let's go. And we're off. 44. 46. Still need to get over 50. Okay, here's Hank. He's back from his run. How'd you do? Oh, I was good. I enjoyed that. I'm, I'm a need for speed. You went all the way down. I, I came well, up the I need to try and eke out a little bit of speed. I was actually struggling to get any speed in there. Were you? Yeah, I, I ran out of gears pretty quick. Well, so did I. It was, a, it was a terminal velocity check. And then I was just like hovering around 44k an hour. 44k an hour? And I got up to 53, but that's why I had to do the extra bit. Cause... Oh, wow. Okay. 53k an hour is your max. So mine was 64. So actually, I. Um, it smashed me. Smashed by a good bit there. I think it was a bit of weight. A bit of weight. Helped. The rolling resistance of these wheels. Resistance you know. Next challenge. Roll down that hill like a beauty. Next challenge, we're not going downhill anymore. We're going up. One, nil. Let's go. Let's Next do it. challenge for you. Hank. Oh, he's struggling already. I'm going to let some air out my tyres. I need an extra advantage because um, oh, I lost the first challenge. Anyway, I'm going to go to about, I would say about 30 PSI. 
I hope I don't regret this in the later challenges. Come on, Hank. Sorry, just warming up. <laughs> Look at this. Now I know this climb and it's steep, it's rocky, it's pretty muddy and at the top there's a nice plain or common. So I reckon it's a big race to the top. Um, I have a feeling that I may be able to just get you one back. I think this one might be yours, but I'm interested. And also it's got, it's got good uh, rolling over the rough stuff. I've never made it up this climb on my gravel bike before. No, I've always no. had to put a foot out, yeah. so. Um, right. Give me a tricky one. Let's go, brother. Love you long time. Oh. You! On your mark. Three. Set. Two. One. Go! Oh. Oh, it's got the slight clipping, but I've got the advantage on the lower slopes here. Getting the wheel out in front. It gets rocky as you get up. Come on, Alto. Oh, I've lost it. Oh, this is a tricky bit. I think this is where the fat bike is going to come into its own. Oh, definitely losing traction. Hank's got the jump on me. Oh, it's getting muddy. Oh, you had clip. We got a bottleneck. There's no way I'm getting going after that. I'm running with that Alto. <laughs> He's got a head start. Oh, I can't run. There's no rules to stop running. Oh, I can't get going. Oh, I'm clawing your back. It's not over till the fat bike sings. Come on, Alto! In the final kicker. Hank has the upper hand. Come on! Come on, fat boy! Over! Yeah, top fish there! Come on! Yes! 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 I needed that win. Come on, Alato and Connor. I'm struggling for grip. Second place, buddy. Oh, some climb now. Nah. Well, on, mate. Oh, good job. Do you know what Flew that means? It. One all. One. 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 Scores are equal. I was surprised by the monster bike though. To be honest, I was getting a bit worried. I was really holding it on stage. I just struggled where it got a bit slippy. I just didn't have the traction. I came off. But it rolled over some of that rocky stuff really well. Yeah. I forgot how good it is just, uh, just you cruising. You love that bike. I love it, I love it. My favourite bike in the world. Anyway, let's not talk about it. We've got a little bit of a ride and then we've got yeah. the tight circuit race challenge. I know, I don't think those fat tyres are going to help you as much on the circuit race as they did up that rocky climb there. But I've got a bit more of a climb to do. And I've got a bit of a circuit in store for you, a bit of a crit. Let's do it. Whoa. I don't think I've ever tried to wheelie at Alto. I'd be worried it'll take off into space. Oh. The third challenge, Hank, on our foggy day. We have of come battles. to the epic race circuit here just outside of Bath, where I've actually won the circuit race championships. You always say that, you always version. say this, yeah. But fair play, good effort, mate. Good Thanks, effort. Mate. But today we're going to shorten the lap. We're going to make it as technical as possible. So we're just going to use this little kind of dog leg. I have a feeling yeah. I'm going to struggle on this one. I think you might, but at the same time, you've got the lighter bike as well, and you have total disregard for your own safety, um, which is going to benefit yeah. coming into those corners. I'm going to be backing off a bit because you're a dangerous little, uh, a wimp, dangerous right? little monkey. It's one all so far. Who's going to put their nose ahead? Bah. Oh, those high fives are getting painful. Yeah. Right then, are you ready? On your marks. Three. Get set. Two. One. Let's do it. Oh. It's like jumping on a penny farthing. Oh, he's playing it coy. He's playing it coy, so Hank's playing a game here. Just stay away from me, because you already nearly crashed me on the way to the circuit. He's put me off the track. That's an F1 incident, that. He's gone on the inside, he's gone for him. And uh, the tall one's gone for the attack. Oh, he's overshot. 
<laughs> ah. Okay, we're still neck and neck. Put down a big attack. He's got the lead. There's a cat and mouse game. Coming into the final U bend. This is it. One always goes a hard one, race and hang. We get way too competitive. <laughs> oh. That was really that hard in a long time. <laughs> My legs are shaking. That could not have been closer. <laughs> My legs are shaking. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that too. That was good fun, wasn't it? So, I knew I didn't have the speed. And I knew I didn't have the, like, the top end speed to maintain it. So the only job I could do was really slow you down. Yeah, you played a coy game. You played a coy game. <laughs> I thought I had you, but yeah. I couldn't shake you. It went quite early. You put some sprint in there. You forced me off into the grass though, so there'll be a jury's decision <laughs> there, I think. That was forcing off the track. Oh. But I have to say, that is... Fair play. One, two. One, two. <laughs> You're in the lead. That was well, the one I wanted. That was good God, fun. I had to play that clever. <sighs> One challenge to go though, guess what? It's a joker in the pack. What? What do you mean? I don't know, but I don't know. 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 Oh. My life is complete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me. I was coming back at you. The wheels actually rolled over it really well. Yeah, they did actually more than I was expecting. <laughs> but I just couldn't get back on terms with you, and you uh, absolutely uh, walked all over me on these little moguls. Yeah. That oh, was fun though. That was really fun. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks, buddy. So there we have it. It looks like the fat bike. The fat tyres, this epic bike has beaten Connor's beautiful personal El Alto. El Alto, we nearly did it. I feel like I let the side down on the road race on the Criterium there. I could have taken that one, but it was a good battle. I enjoyed that today. Do you know what? I've absolutely loved battling, you know, head to head, bike versus bike. It's been absolutely yeah. amazing. I've loved every minute of it. Both, I hope you have too. They're both interesting bikes as well. They're both kind of similar characteristics, but different at the same time. Yeah. But let us know down in the comment section below, where would you take El Alto or this fat bike as far as Mongolia perhaps? And if you do get a chance to watch the documentaries on GCN Plus now on my journey across Mongolia, please do let us know what you think and give this video a big thumbs up too. Because yeah, before, yeah, before I go, we because off, um, <coughs> we've got, got to uh, kind of announce that uh, what I won, which means that you're not only buying the coffees, but you've also got a forfeit. Now, what I want to know what is, is it? tell me what it is. is would you prefer to see Connor jump in the canal and a pair of budgie smugglers? Oh gosh. Or would you like to see him dye his hair pink? No, for a week? Not, I can't dye my hair pink. <laughs> I'm so not doing let that. us know in the comment section below. The more comments that we have, <laughs> I'm not dyeing my hair pink. He, it will happen. It'll either go in the GCN or go in the GCN show. Is he going to dye his hair pink or is he going to get in the canal with white front on? Oh, I mean, anyway, they're both uh, stupendous Hit us up in the conversation below. We'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. Adios. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. <laughs>